Morning everybody, this is Steve at the Whirly Bogger. It is the 9th of February 2024 here in the lower farmlands area of the river. The Yakima River, I should say, I guess. So you know. yeah. so this is a man-made dike I'm standing on, so a lot of folks probably don't know that this entire section of river was moved. Uh, back in the early 1900s, I'm not sure the exact year, but the Army Corps of Engineers moved this section of river. That's why we have problems in here with lots of, you know, debris, lots of logs forming, lots of river blockages, and then also with uh, the Ringer Road boat launch being underwater typically in the spring because the river's trying to go back to its natural state there and eventually we are going to lose that so that will be one of the key things that we address here and the access committee is a ringer road boat launch for sure so stay tuned for that but as you can see, the river's in pretty decent shape this morning, and we have blue sky and sunshine, so very, very nice for February. You can kind of see, look in the distance there, we have some snow in the high elevations, and man, we need more. And most likely, we will get it. You know, that's happened the last few years, it's our late season snows you know typically pile in the cascades in february march and april those are big snow months so hopefully that will happen and fill our reservoirs because uh, we're in desperate need of water just like every other state in the west experiencing the same mild winter conditions so Asking questions, of course, about the squall of fishing. And I got my thermometer in the water here, and it's recording about 37, 36.9 degrees here. It's kind of a little back eddy, so I'm going to tend to be a little bit warmer than probably what the main stem is. So we still got to come up a few degrees keep in mind it's all temperature related so if you really want to get to know the river really well i would say start watching water temperatures they'll tell you a lot about where trout are and when you can start seeing bug hatches at certain times of the year typically we need the we need the river to be at a pretty continually pretty constant 42 degrees before we start seeing adult squalls so right now, if we were to kick over some rocks here, I'm sure we could find a few squalid nymphs that are migrating towards the edges. So that's going to be a key component for you to fish if you plan on doing that over the next few weeks. Good squalid nymph with a little trailing bug behind. San Juan worm is always good, an egg pattern. Though I would say by now most of the whitefish probably have finished up their spawning for the year. And that is probably complete, but it's a recognized food farm. Even if they're not around, trout still remember them as food, so. And we have late salmon in the river too, so they were they were eating eggs late, so can always try that but be adventurous you know especially if you're wade fishing you got to move around a lot and kind of find key areas you know where you can where you can move and find the fish they're going to be potted the river is going to continue to drop over the next week according to weather and predictions so it's going to remain in good shape remember we just we had a high water event here, you know, about a week, 10 days ago. So if you're floating, you know, heads up on that. 
you know, especially in this section of the river. It's one that tends to get some debris, some blockages. I haven't heard of anything in here yet. Just a couple quick reminders, lake opener, the way the, the temperatures have been, I'm sure. I haven't had any reports of ice off the lakes yet, but I'm, I'm sure they're probably, they're probably getting there if they're not already. So that's March 1st. There's a few that, that open up in April, but most of those will, most of the most of the desert lakes all open up on the on the first of March. So heads up for that. If you want to get something set up with us, we are starting to book up for the spring fishing. So it's very very popular. I will remind you. It's hard to pinpoint. I can't really tell you that if you book, you're gonna get great squalid dry fly fishing. But you know, better to get your date on the book. We've probably had the majority of our spring runoff, so March fishing is probably going to be, you know, just from my experience, it's probably going to be pretty good. You probably won't be dealing with a lot of bad water. We'll see what April brings with that. But So just a heads up, if you're going to be coming to the shop over the next few weeks, i got a project underway here. Anybody that really understands me is that I really can't sit still and I'm always looking to make the business better, I'd like the challenge, especially in today's economy, like, oh my God. But we just uh, flex our might, right? And so I'm gonna be filling all this in with slot wall. We're gonna be adding uh, even more fly tying material to our stock here and move stuff around. So just uh, pardon the interruption. And the mess that uh, is gonna occur. But we'll try to get it done as quickly as possible. And uh, there's some pretty new exciting stuff that's come out and uh, a couple of new brands that we're going to uh, put in the shop here. Till then, everybody. Have a great weekend, and uh, look forward to seeing you. And get outside and enjoy some of this nice sunny weather.